What's going on, everybody? It is TKO, Sneakers and a Fox, and welcome to another episode of Sneaker Fox, Sneaker Watch. Uh, today we have a special guest by the name of Certless, Chris. Uh, he is a huge, 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 one of the biggest Adidas superstar uh, collectors. His uh, collection is just ridiculous. He's got all type of Adidas superstars man so we definitely gonna chop it up about that and just want to appreciate everybody uh for all your support and i uh, appreciate everyone uh tuning in uh just waiting on chris to tune in uh so we can go ahead and get this uh interview started uh, i don't even like to call them interviews i like to call them uh conversations because that's more that we have i'll ask questions but you know we have conversations so i'm gonna say we're gonna get this conversation started uh once we get uh chris uh, certless in the room. Let me go ahead and post something here. Let me let y'all know if you are a uh, your sneakerhead and you want to sell or uh, you want to sell sneakers, you want to buy sneakers. Um, next Saturday we are having a live sneaker event where you can actually come and buy and sell and trade sneakers. Uh, so if you have sneakers or you have a clothing line, you got accessories. If you have items product merchandise that you wouldn't want to sell to the sneakerhead community uh go to custom market dot biz and uh go ahead and register uh for the event uh we'll give you a 10 minute segment where you can go ahead and sell your product and merchandise so let me post that here and i'm gonna pin it in the room we got certain list that just jumped in give me one second chris let me just pin this in here And if you are a customizer, we're having actually a sneaker custom competition. Uh, it we're giving away a uh, five hundred to the winner of the competition, so you can also register as well. Just one second, y'all. I'm gonna pin this, and then we will get started. We got Chris in the room, Certless in the room. <laughs> Let me pin that. There we go. All right. Appreciate everybody tuning in. Let me get Chris up in here. Ba -ba -ba. Go live with Chris. There we go. Let's get this started. Yo. Yo, what's going on, Chris? How are you? Man, I'm doing good, man. How about yourself? All right. Hanging. Okay, okay. Uh, so uh, this, we got people tuning in, jumping in. So um, let's, uh, you know, go ahead and get this thing started. Uh, if you can just go ahead and just introduce yourself to everybody, who you are, what All you right. do. Well, you know. uh, I go by shirtless on, uh, on all my little platforms. But, yeah, everybody calls me Chris. Okay. And uh, where did you get the name shirtless from? That was it's the first actually, thing I wanted to ask it's you. It's a combination of two things. Okay. It's, <laughs> I got this, I've had this this name since I actually went online, probably like AOL 3.0. We're talking like 90s. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I took, uh, I'm big into breath mints all the time, so certs like the mint. Oh, certs. Okay. 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 And I matched it up with my favorite car, which is an Oldsmobile Bill Cutlass. I figured Cutlass had something to do with it. Yeah, man. I figured, I figured it, yeah. It's tattooed on my chest, near my heart. Okay. <laughs> how many, how many, do you, uh, do you uh, I, I, um, I suppose you do own a Cutlass? Not these days, no. But okay. Yeah, growing up in the 80s, when I first got, you know, I had my license and stuff, all those mid 80 G bodies that everybody's doing all kinds of stuff to now. Yeah. Man, it was a $500 beater back in the day. You could buy left and right over and over again. It was awesome. Okay, so when's the last time you had a cut list? Like, what, what was the last one that you had? How uh, long ago? The one I had was, uh, it was a 77. Uh, okay. Had factory T-tops, which I still have hanging around. Okay. Um, 350 Rocket, Turbo 400, and I think Hammett. Man, Big man. long, big long. Okay. You ever and, think, um, are you going to get a cut list uh, again? What, what's that? Are you, are you thinking about getting a cut list anytime soon? Nah, actually, it, it, if I do it, if I get another cutlass, I want to be able to do it right. I want the right, right. year, the right make. 
you know, Dreams is like a 68442. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, right now I'm concentrating on um, – I've had motorcycles and all that stuff. I'm shifting focuses around from hobbies and, and what I do. But, yeah, I think if, if I get another toy – Okay. An automotive toy uh, would probably be a uh, like a C5 Corvette, like a 98 to 04. Ooh, something. Man, okay. And bank for bucks, dude. Those things are worth it. You can get a serious sports car for like 20 grand. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know what I mean? It, with something yeah. on the ex it feels like an exotic that's not. Okay, okay. You know what I mean? And you can even get it even cheaper than that with, with, with high miles and, and, and work it yourself. Right. That's Just work on over time. Right. And out there. Well, right. I'm right. And uh, so let me ask you, man. So, underrated car. Where are you from? I'm from Massachusetts. Okay. Boston. Yeah, okay. old New England. Okay, okay. Are you from Boston or outside of Boston? Where I'm on you? the South Coast, which is like an hour south of Boston. I'm right on okay. like the Rhode Island line pretty much. Providence is like 20 minutes from me, and Boston is like an hour north. So. Okay. Kind of, I can kind of get to both when I need to for, for, for events and shit like that. Okay, okay. Oops. <laughs> and uh, as far as uh, Boston, are you a big Boston sports fan? I'm actually not a big sports fan at all. Um, okay, okay. I do hockey, but like baseball, uh, football, those, I just not, I never was into them when I was younger. Okay. I mean, mildly, I'll follow it. Obviously, if you live up here, you, you have to know about Patriots because. Of course. It's what it is. And even the Red Sox, Patriots, Red Sox. Yeah, I mean, it's. Even though I'm not a sports fan, I can relate to the people that are here. It's got to be great to love the teams you love and have them right. win the way they do. I mean, in Boston, you guys have been blessed, man. Like, you guys got a history of yeah. championships after championships, man. I'm in Atlanta. I can, I'm from Atlanta. I can count how many championships we have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in Boston, I know you've lost count. By now, now, Boston, part of you can also Sell take tips. it out to <laughs> – Boston's been around a lot longer as far right, as right. teams go. You know what I mean? Like like New York. They started right. everything. Right. And that's why you have maybe the the championships you do, uh, the quantity, because it's right. just more time. Right. You talk about the Celtics got what, like 15, 16. And yeah. the New England, uh, the New England the Celtics, got, I got I got some sneak. I got some sneakers we want to talk about later. Talk oh, about okay. That's dope. Yeah, we definitely yeah. want to talk about so talking about sneakers, man, what have you been growing longer, your beard or have you been collecting Adidas superstars longer? Well, the beard's always been here. It hasn't been a full beard. Okay. Uh, I started this in 2012. Um, every year before that, I've always had a, a, just a regular goatee. Okay. And it's also kind of long. And I would shave it every now and then. And when you shave and you're going to grow it back out, you grow the whole thing and then you reshape it. Okay. Well, I just haven't reshaped it yet. <laughs> <laughs> and I, you don't plan on doing that anytime soon, huh? You know, there's days. It's, this is a huge test of patience. I'll tell you that right now. Huge. Yeah. Uh, it's a lot of work. And, um, you know, everybody thinks you're lazy. You don't want to shave. This I, Shaving would be far easier than, than what I have right here. We're having to maintain <laughs> that, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you go outside, it's blowing around the wind. And, right, right. <laughs> and, then, yeah. and then you sleeping with that thing, like, man. Yeah, <laughs> sleeping, you know, you lay on your side, it, it's tucked under your under your body. and uh, Right, right. You know, you end up, like, throwing it in your shirt and stuff. There's some crazy right. things. So I it's gotta, a whole other maintenance that you got to do to take care of it. A whole other maintenance. It's, it's, it's a lot of work, too. You, you To have a beard this, this long, you have to yeah. take care of it with, with shit cleaning, this oils. Right, um, right. I got a hair care routine for this that will rival what some women get in a salon. No joke. Wow. <laughs> wow that's crazy, man. Hot oil. Yes. Crap going man. on. That's I crazy. My beard's a, it's pretty important to me. Right. So you don't plan on cutting it anytime soon. This is. I don't plan. Till, uh, till the end. What, some of them days, whoo, you come yeah. real close. <laughs> How close have you been? Have you had like the razor like right there? Like, hey, I, right, nah, I can't even do yeah, it. Yeah. You know, it. It becomes – it's part of my, my look. My It's like a trademark thing. You know right, what I mean? Right, you, right. Uh, I've had it for so long. It's part of my – that's what people know me for. Hey, that's the dude with the beard. Big guy with right, the beard. Right, 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 right. You know what I mean? So you kind of you kind of put up with it on those days. Right. So how did everything start with Adidas, man? Like, how did you get into Adidas well, and the Superstar? How did that all happen? Everybody – you know, I walk, I walk sneakers all the time. Um, okay. You know, I got a little bit of a different like background than say the, the majority of the sneaker culture. A okay. lot of them are hip hop oriented. They're the B boys. They were break dancing, listening to 
to rap and all that stuff. Right. I'm the opposite. I was the long haired like metal guy in the eighties. The okay. rock roller. Right, right, right. <laughs> and uh, you know, so with that came work wearing like work boots and, and that stack that kind of stuff of that fashion. Right. But I mean everybody as a kid growing up rocked a pair of sneakers. Yeah. Um but my problem is I've been cursed with big feet. Right. Dude, right. When I was twelve years old. Twelve years old with a size thirteen. No Damn. joke. Damn. I just I came out, I'm a big boy. Yeah. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> now, wow. Nowadays, size thirteen, piece of cake. Right. Okay, it, it's all day long. But you know, in in, in the mid early mid eighties and stuff, when I was, you know, young, right. uh, trying to trying to pick up stuff that's cool. You know, you couldn't. You couldn't. Uh I, I'd go to a store. And this was long before internet, man, giving my age away here. Right, right. And, and you had to go to the store. And it was like, it got to the point where I didn't even pick out what I wanted. I just said, hey, man, what do you got in size 13? Bring out what I got. <laughs> and I always ended up with something I didn't like. Right, right. So time moves on and uh, outlets stop popping out. And I found huge value in Nike. Okay. okay? Wearing high top. Basically, high top basketball sneakers. Okay. Uh, not so much Jordans, but other models. Okay. I go to the outlet and, dude, I wear size 15. Okay. Now, nowadays, I'm a 15. Yeah. Wow. I wear four, most of my shoes are 14s and I can fit in them okay, but true, my true size is a 15. Okay. And I could go into a Nike outlet and definitely buy those, those boats. Okay. Okay. And, there was plenty of them because nobody bought them because they were huge. Right, right, right. But I'm not going to lie, man. Nikes, they fall apart. Yeah, that's, the, if you that's wear the one them, thing I don't like about Nike, man. <laughs> wear them, they, they, they turn to jump real fast. Real, yeah. crack and, and, and stitching comes undone and you, yep. you got the, the flapping in the front. That's no good. Yep. That's no good. So at the time, I, uh, I'm very fortunate enough to vacation pretty regularly. Okay. And I found myself Every time I would go on vacation, you know, average like basically once a year, I'd get a new pair of sneakers, fresh, the fresh fit. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. And I got so sick of my sneakers falling apart. Um, I just happened to find a pair of Adidas. It was it was a, a Superstar Two. Okay. Uh, it looks a little different than the, the Superstars we see here. It was more of a basketball style shoe. Okay. I, okay. Uh, the Superstars uh, Two. Not Superstar 2, Superstar 2G. I'm sorry, Superstar 2G. Okay. If you Google that, you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, and I loved them. Okay. And I loved the way that the rubber toe was. And that wasn't even a really a true classic shell toe. That was just a modernized version of it. I fell in love. Okay. And it too lasted. It was comfortable, and I had no problems with it. Okay. So a year later, what do I do? I buy another pair of Superstars. Okay. Except this time I bought the Superstars that I know and love. Okay. It was solid black, red stripes. I wore them every day. That was back in like 2009. And oh, I love those. Yeah, black color. with the red stripes. Those are dope. Those are dope. Yeah. Yeah, black with solid black with red stripes. That yeah. black toe cap, man. It just yeah. changed the whole look of the shoe. Yeah, yeah. And you know, I was surprised at how well they fit and and okay. how comfortable they were for a classic style shoe with a flat sole and basically no support like you see in, in the in the modern shoes like you do now nowadays. Right, right. So true, fifty-year-old technology. Right, right. So let me um th let me just uh plug in real quick. Did you ever hear that story about Jordan before he signed with um Nike that he actually wanted to sign with Adidas? Did you know about that? I have heard that. I don't know. Okay. It's a great detail. All the details of it. Right. But yeah, he was. I think he was. He turned him down and. No, um, actually, Adidas didn't want to pay him. Uh, <laughs> was. Yeah, Adidas didn't want to pay him. They. They just felt, hey, we don't want to go this way with them, and that's why he went and went ahead and signed with Nike. He was actually supposed to sign with. That's who you always wanted to sign was with, yeah, with yeah. Adidas. Because remember, at that time, in the eighties, like Nike wasn't huge like the no, way it is now. No. You know, it wasn't a huge brand. No, they're number one. Yeah. Now, no doubt yeah, about it. Yeah, it wasn't a huge brand like that back then. So, what sneaker do you think he would have been wearing? Like, what basketball sneaker do you think he would have been wearing if he was with? Uh... Well, we have the Adidas version of Jordan. Who knows? Right, that right. Was. Could be anything. Right, 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 right. <laughs> you think? Um, you think they would have done as well with him with Adidas? Or you think it's because of him he's the one who pushed that design with the Jordans? Or do you think there's just designers with? Because um, I like to think too that 
yes, Jordan played a major part in the. Season, I would have to say, but so. I think that his designers were dope though, like Tinkfield and all them. I think they yeah. were. They made some dope designs. But do you think that if he was with Adidas, Jordan would be as big as it is? Uh, that Adidas would have been as big as the way Jordan is? I would say so because look at even though Nike is Nike and they weren't big and they made it what it was. So right. Imagine Adidas and all the resources they already have and the history they have before already, that. Already, right, right, right. You're talking Pele and all those guys way back then. Back then, right, right. Way back. Right, right. Um, they they know what they're doing with their athletes. So to have someone of his caliber under their belt would have been incredible and maybe skyrocketed them and they'd still be number one. Right. And then that, and it's also, like you said, with uh, Pele, Madonna, yeah. it's also a global brand, you know, because mm -hmm. you – you know, to me, you know, soccer is a bigger sport in the world. Football, yeah. soccer, that's the biggest yeah, in the world. So they had, were able to get Jordan and have him in the overseas. It would have been crazy, crazy. I, I, I believe personally that it would have been just as big. It would have been history, just as big. History, especially with Adidas or Adidas, as, as we, they would say over in, in Europe. Europe. Right. Um, you know, the rivalry with the brothers in the Puma. It, right. World War Two. All that stuff uh, right. is amazing when you go back. I mean, for 60 years, that little town, they didn't get along. Right. <laughs> if, you were, exactly. if you worked for Adidas and, and you worked for Puma, I couldn't talk to you after work. Or no, anything. we couldn't talk. No. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't until like 2009 that both factories actually had like a soccer match for the employees. Right, right. And they kind of shook hands just so right. they could just move into the future. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Not just so, a lot between them two. Wow, that'd be incredible. So, um, how many superstars do you, um, do you have in your collection? How I many? don't know the exact number. Um, Give me an estimate, ballpark pushing, figure. My whole collection's pushing around the two twenties right now. Woo! And I'd have to say, I know my Puma collection's pretty small. It might be. It's growing pretty fast. Yeah, I've been seeing. It. It, I've been it, seeing it it's, it, it's it's easy to grow fast, and I'll I'll explain those later. Okay. But I'm in the thirties range in, in Puma. Okay. Uh, I don't think I'm hit at quite at 40 yet. So okay. if, if you do the numbers, I've probably got 180, 190 uh, uh, superstars. Okay. Okay. And then, uh, so I know you're a big superstar guy. What got you into uh, Puma? How did you start to get into the, the Puma? I mean, all the years with Adidas, and, and you know, I explained how I, I finally bought one for a vacation, and it just took off from there. And, and websites back in the day, like Chewbacca, I yeah. value. You know what I mean? That's where I got my footing in and 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 cuz of stuff like that. The yeah. internet was a savior to me with my size. Right, right. I still can't go to a store and ask for my size. They laugh at me. So everything you, do, <laughs> you got to order everything for you. Yeah. I don't think so, but <laughs> <laughs> So everything you get right now, you got to order it. You can't go into a store and uh, it, it's it's a rare occasion I go into a store and it has anything for me. Very okay. rare. Very okay. rare. I never get my hopes up if I'm going to go to like the outlets or anything like that. Right. Um, you know, you get you get lucky sometimes. Somebody might return something that they ordered online. But for right. the most part, going to a store and looking at the wall and getting that sensation and trying that guy's bringing up. Now that's something I don't I don't get to experience. Okay. Okay. I don't get to experience. But uh, the internet was great for me, and Adidas was my thing, and it still is my thing. It's my go-to. But last right, right. year. Adidas, basically, and I think they stopped making a lot of models of, of Superstar. For the last, like, two years, it was very, very little coming out for new releases. Okay. And I think they were ramping up for this year, 2020, which is the 50th anniversary. 50th anniversary. Right, 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 right. And as a fan of that shoe, I'm not exactly happy with all the all the the, 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 the offerings for the 50th anniversary. Oh, right? really? Okay. I think, so, uh, okay. I think a lot of people would agree with that. I, mean, I can see some comments popping up right now. Yeah. There's a lot of, lot of models popping up. It's, it's, it's nice for me to go online, sort by size, and I sort by size 14, and only see, like, usually when I sort, see what fits me available, there's like nine pairs. <laughs> now there's like 47 I could actually buy if I wanted to online. Wow. That's huge for me. But they're all... I can say a very they're conservative on the design right now. There's not a lot of color. Majority of the colorways are some way black or white. 
right, white right. black. Right, right. And, and, and while I get the basics of that, and it probably broadens the market that, of people that want to buy a shoe that looks cool, but it's right. safe to wear, instead of like a neon pink thing that I would I would do. I um, see you just posted that like yeah, a couple yeah. days ago, those neon pink ones. Yeah, yeah. I, got, I got them up here, and the, and the yellow is even brighter. Okay. Crazy, dude, how bright those things are. But I like loud stuff like that. You know, me too. Me too. Uh, I like it. If it ain't if it ain't a loud shoe, I make it loud by my lace locks, which is one of my signature styles that that I have. Everybody's got their little thing. Yeah. And I'm definitely big on my lace locks. So yeah, you, you, what do you you always put? What eighteen millimeter? <laughs> or something like yeah. That. Well, I prefer b boy laces. Um, uh huh. Uh, I'll, I'll give him a plug all day long. I mean, I buy my laces. I love that product. It, it is. It actually is. A better shoelace than others. Okay. Have. Okay. If you go on Amazon. You'll get fat laces the same width. Okay. They stretch. His laces are definitely quality. Okay. They fit good. They 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 don't stretch. They don't do that stuff. The last thing you want to do is have a lace bar across the shoe and then kind of narrow and come back because yeah, I hate that pulled. man. I hate that. And then once you wear it, it gets even worse. Yeah, I hate that. So his prices are very very reasonable. You're talking four or five dollars a pair. Right. The only thing for us here in the States is the international shipping can kind of add to it and make you say, well, those worth those laces aren't worth buying. Exactly. And I'm telling you right now, they're worth every penny of shipping to get them on your shoe. And you said, where is he located? He's over in the UK, B-Boy Lace. Okay. okay uh, if looks you like ask anybody, Puma or, or Adidas, that wears those laces, they'll, they'll, they'll definitely say. Okay. And now someone just put it, his IG in there, yeah, at B-Boy uh, Laces. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Give me that right now. Um, yeah, someone just put it in there. Oh, perfect, perfect. Yeah, Pop Abby Pete, Boy yeah, Laces. Pixar Pete right there, one of my main, main guys. Real good. Him and I, I'm trying to get my screen back here. Yeah, good. Um, that's, that, that's Pete. Pete's over in the UK. Pete and I have gone way back with, with the collecting. Lots of messages, lots of information shared. I've bought shoes from him. He's bought shoes from me. Um, we do a lot of over the ocean stuff, uh, okay. with shipping, okay. you know what I mean, and I can I help uh, I help out the the, guy, the brothers across the pond. And uh, shout out to Juice. Juice just said the same thing. Yeah, man, laces. Juice. Yeah, I seen Juice post those see, put, uh, laces too. Yeah, I see Banks right there, Courtney coming in from Miami. I see I see all you guys. Thanks for coming in there, El Pedado, He's in Phoenix. Yeah, DJing it up. We got all kinds of names in there. Good stuff. <laughs> So let me ask you, um, I know you said that you're not too happy with the 50th anniversary. Two years ago, we had the Puma anniversary. And as you know, I'm a huge Puma yeah. collector. And then all my Puma guys, we were happy about that 50th anniversary. Like, man, like the sneaks they dropped. Like, I think that that probably was Puma, that was Puma's biggest year. Because, man, I know a lot of money was spent during that 50th anniversary. Like, I know we love that. But you, you know, on the other side, you're saying on the Adidas side, you're not too happy with the 50th anniversary. I'm not happy with it in a sense of it's just boring. That's the best right. way I can sum it up, and I think a lot of people will agree. Right, right. It's just, especially for the collectors, you want right, right. something, and you know, it doesn't matter the brand. We could be talking right. about New Balance, Nike, anything. Right. You want something that pops, something exactly. that pops up here that says, I like that shoe. Right. Whether it's a colorway, the stitching, the materials, anything. And there's always something. And that's why one pair of shoes will turn a guy off and it'll turn another guy on. Right, and right. Gals, and gals. Can't forget the gals. <laughs> you know, when you have a lot of pairs of sneakers, you're looking for that one thing that separates the next pair. Right, right. And it could be, it could be, and on Adidas, the way the stripe comes down the side, the way the stitches are on the end, um, a lace jewel, a, a texture, a two-tone sole, an right. eyelet, a metal eyelet. You know what I mean? Anything. There's, right, there's right. always something that could make the shoe better or worse. Okay. Let me ask you what you think about these. I'm going to tell you the story first on how these even got into my hands. And let me even go back a little bit further. Let me ask you, how do you feel about the super stands? Do you like the super stands? I actually, I actually, I have a pair here, and I was going to bring it up in conversation later. Okay. Personally, I, I haven't had it on foot yet. Okay. But I did, I did, I did buy it, the, the first Superstand release, not the second ones that are a little cheaper. I don't know what the, I think it's a difference in material. I think they're right. less quality. Right. But I like the idea 
of what I'm going to call a Frankenstein shoe. Right. You, you basically took two shoes and mashed them together. And exactly. I think it's going very well. I think that was dope. I, I think it. it's dope. I love it. Yeah. Like I said, I haven't had them on foot yet. I bought right. them back in, what, February? I think they came out January, February. And they're sitting there ready. They're ready. Before I get into my story about the Super Stan, how do you feel about Stan Smith, though? Um, are you, do you like Stan Smith as well? You know, I don't own any. And okay. I, I don't think they come in my size, to be honest. Every time wow, I look really? at them, I don't see them higher than 13. 13 is wow. a big threshold for a lot of shoes. Right, 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 right. And 14 already can be tight on me because I'm really a 15. Right, right, right. Okay. I'm going to tell you my Super Stan story. Okay, so I'm not going to name the company, hmm. but I ordered some Super Stans. <laughs> okay? And then I went through the box, and they sent me the wrong sneaker. But they sent me an upgraded sneaker. So in my head, I'm like, I want the Super Stans, but this upgraded sneaker that they sent me was a little bit more expensive, and it's because it was a collaboration. But I'm like, man, now okay. I'm in my mind, like, trying to think, should I tell them, hey, I want my Super Stans, I'm going to send these back, or should I keep these? So since you are the expert, I'm going to get your opinion. Yeah. On these right here. Human made. Human made. How do you feel about these sneakers right here? The human I made. Feel, I feel like I would get them when they get mocked down. Okay. But there's a little bit of hype behind those. Yeah. But it's a good shoe. It's your basic colorway. Yeah. It, it's, it's got a stamp on it that makes it, I guess, more valuable. Right here. Yeah. Right. The human made. We all know, and we all know who's behind that. So. Right. And then it looks At like the material's a little bit different, too. I'm feeling this texture. Yeah. This texture is different, too. I would imagine, based on the price of that on the site, you can tell by the price tiers, the 80s, the 100, 110, 120s, you start to tell the difference between materials. Right. You're looking at two shoes, the same thing, and you're like, well, why is that one 80? Why is that one 100? Well, that one's right. got probably, probably better leather. Right. And I would assume those, as plain as they are, to me, in my eyes, they probably have a higher quality leather and construction. Yeah, I can already tell. I'm feeling, I'm rubbing this leather. I'm like, wow. Like it's yeah. so it's just smooth. Like I'm, I'm telling you, a lot, a lot of some of the good shoes you can actually just you can smell leather. Exactly. <laughs> so what do you think I should do? Should I keep these or should I get the super stands? Return them back with the super stands. What do you think? That's up to you, man. That's so, <laughs> I think down the road, you know, and this this is a whole debate right here: collector versus enthusiast. I wear my stuff, so I, I'll consider myself an enthusiast before a collector. Yeah, me too. Those because they're Pharrell. And they'll have some value down the road. I might not wear them as much. Okay. But on the same token, I have a super stand that's the first of its kind. The OG, I guess you could call it. So I might not want to wear that one as much beat it up either. So right. both those have a different kind of value. Right, right. To Let me see what they them or down the road. Let me see what the guys are saying here in the room. Someone both. said someone said both. Yeah, and yeah, Courtney says keep those. I know he has a pair of those. Yeah, he said, yeah, would, keep those. I would trust his opinion for sure. Yeah, he said keep those. What do he say? I don't know any own. I don't care for them, but the hybrid concept was dope. Yeah. He said, yeah, someone said these are fire. All right, man, I'm going to go with the. Yeah, see, you know, that's, that's a shoe made the way it's supposed to be. A super right. stand is an experiment. It's Frankenstein. Right, right. Okay. You know, uh, what not. Two things always don't fit together and work. But I think that really, even though I, I haven't had them in hand, just from looking at it, I think they came together very well. You know, how they kept they kept the show toe in the yeah. bottom. They kept the bottom here. Hey, Jen. The superstar. And then the top, they kept it as the um, Stan Smith. So I think they really executed that really well. I agree. Really do. I agree. Yeah. So I can't. And then I'm seeing the price drop on those, too. So I'm just going to yeah. get those at another time since the price dropping on those. So but these have, have been out since April, and I haven't seen the price drop on pretty these. Pretty soon, so. you'll yeah. start seeing the end-of-season sale and, and those types of things, and you'll start seeing the 30%. Of the, you know, what you hope for is 50% off and your size. That's the ideal, right, the ideal right. thing right there. All right, so let's get, into, um, let's get back to the superstars. What is, and I told you earlier, I wanted to find out your top, did we say top 10 or top five superstars? You said top ten uh, Adidas, and then then yeah, and then top at the five last Pumas. Second, like, hey, do top five uh, Pumas too. So, all right. all right. Basically, here's the here's the situation though. My room, which I'm known for a lot, actually. Yeah. Um, my rooms are pretty. pretty I, I'm very very fortunate to have this setup. Um, I worked hard, planned, 
Um, spent way more money than I ever should. <laughs> it, re it was a real. It's a really nice yes, room, man. man. Was... <laughs> but um, I I did it four years ago, and I've you know added drop fronts and stuff as the collection's grown. But I've hit a point in this room where I need to reimagine it. Okay. Okay. So over the last month or so, and you you can probably see by some of my picks and stuff. I actually took all my shoes out of this room, all 200 plus of them. Oh, Boxed wow. them up and put them downstairs in what I now call the back cave. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got two by fours and plywood shelves up and all my stuff's on those. Oh, wow. So they're, okay. chilling, they're chilling down in the back cave right now while I start working on this room, getting getting a different version of it together. Okay. Uh, it might not even be in this room again when I when I finally set it back. You already have an idea and a concept of what yeah, you want to do. Yeah, yeah. You know, I sit in here and I stare at these walls and it, my brain wanders. And that's why I got this room got to the shape it did in because I I just kept envisioning things. Okay. Uh, but uh yeah, the the Shoeplex 2.0 is coming sometime in the future. I'd like to say 2020, but 2020 is not being so nice. So, we're just going to keep going with it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, so let's go ahead and let's take a look at the top 10. Um, super All right, let's, uh, we'll do a little moving here. Okay. Get everybody. I think this is what everybody came to see. They are excited. Everyone's excited now. Well, what I did was, is because my room is empty, I lugged up from downstairs about 50, 60 pairs to make the room look pretty decent. Okay. And, um, whoo, <laughs> you know, so people could get, get the idea of. Oh, uh, man. Uh, what's going on here and i grab i try to grab some pairs the favorites and and stuff that um has some kind of characteristic to it that makes it unique to another superstar to try okay. to take someone that might not know okay um, i know when i started i couldn't tell a superstar from a superstar 80. okay i, I can see the thing a mile away it's just like uh as a new puma guy i didn't know the difference between a puma suede and a puma clyde and that's a question that everybody always asks. To me, it's but there's so many subtle differences. Once you know the differences, you can see them all away. Right, and right. The beginning, as a new new guy, I didn't know a superstar and a superstar rating. So, so let me ask I you real quick: What's the difference? Things and, and educate, like people educate me. That's what. That's the best part about this. Right. We all get together and we learn. And let me ask you real quick: What is the difference between a superstar and a superstar eighty? What's the difference? The upper is a little bit different with the stitching. The biggest thing is the toe cap and sole are a completely different shoe. A lot oh. less padding in it. The Superstar 2 is made to be more comfortable. Okay. A um, lot more padding on the inside. But Superstar 2, uh, Superstar 80 is more stripped down, more bare. Okay. It has a different silhouette, and I like that look better. But okay. But that'll say they're not comfortable. They'd rather have a Superstar 2. Okay. Um, as an example... We can go like, uh, all right. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So you can see the tongue, how thick. See how thick yeah, that tongue yeah. Is? And it, it's, it's padded. Okay, so this is a Superstar 2. Okay. Um, you have a profile and you have a sole with all the stitching. Okay. When you get to, to an 80, 80 is a lot different. It's a whole different smooth toe cap. Ah, it, okay. Just, these have the X's and the grids. Ah, okay. 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 And, and your sole is a, a, a more of a one piece. It's a lot higher. You, you, you step a lot higher. The tongue, as you can see, is just a simple piece of leather. Okay. A lot less padding in here. Okay. But you okay. can almost, a lot of guys, when they're buying shoes and, and they can chime in, they usually, when they're getting in the 80s, they might buy a half size, maybe even a whole size difference because these will fit a little looser because there's less padding than a Superstar 2. So you go up, you will go up half a size on the yeah, 80s? So they, um, the easy numbers, let's say you wore a 13. Okay. You want to get a 12 and a half. If Pete, he might be able to uh, comment on that because he likes he doesn't like the eighties, so he might know um, he might know the size like a half a size or not. Ah, uh, so you gotta go down, okay? 
But, man, um, I didn't know that, man. I did not. That I just learned. Well, so while new. I, have, I have this pair at hand, this is one of our top favorite ones. Okay. No particular order. And I almost got weird reasons why I would even pick some of my shoes. Like my number number top two or three, they're more personal than like the collab or the, the materials. But this is a collab between Adidas and Quick Strike. Okay. Oh, um, those are clean. It's the pro models. Okay. Good look. You look at the leather. It's all stars. Yeah, I like that, man. That's dope, man. And this is like antique uh, leather camouflage. You got gold stripes on the inside. Woo! The good looking shoe, camo on the inside. You can't go wrong with camo. Oh, those are dope. Yeah, camo wins all the time. It yeah. Doesn't matter what sneaker, it's camo. I mean, like I said, <laughs> top ten for no particular reason or order. Um, these definitely make the list. Uh, they first came out. They were sold out like the first day. I think Ben uh, 317 Pro, I think he was one of the lucky guys to get one of the first, first batches that came out. And then later on, they re-released them, and they're, they're kind of common now. Okay. And they also have uh, a Pro Model version that came with it. Ooh. And so Pro Model is what you call the high top, correct? Is that yeah. What, yeah. High top. Okay. Like the equivalent of a suede and a mid. Right, right, right. It's a, for, for Puma terms. Right. So we got, we got the Quick Strikes. Um, another one of my personal favorites and from the 35th anniversary that came out in 2005. These are Lee Quinones. Ooh, boy. Man, these are a wild looking shoe. Okay. And I like sneakers like that, man. Lee I like that. a graffiti artist out of New York. Okay. This is those, this is. Oh, that is the details, man. Man, those are crazy. Patent leather. He always would spray paint and then his, his art and then he would have like a saying with it so the laces are actually some of the quotes that are in Ooh, his those are stuff. dope um these are one of my favorite pairs from a, from the appearance standpoint man and it was one of the first pair of 36th i ever got which were like in the beginning when i first started collecting it was like when i heard about the 36th i'm like oh man that's you know, what, they weren't grails, but they were definitely on the list of, oh, I've got to have some of those. Okay. A couple those more. crazy, man. List. And these these have, have some, uh, the main reason here is kind of obvious. Um, these are another pair from the City Series. Um, 35th anniversary, Adidas did 35 pairs of shoes. Each one in a different series. Okay. Like six or seven pairs. This is from the City Series. Oh, Massachusetts, Boston, yeah, Boston. Oh, those are dope. Those are. Is that the one you're telling me that you were going to talk about? I'm going to talk about these. This is going to segue into the next one. Ooh, those are fire, man. For everybody, oh. somebody else may go Boston. Screw this shoe. Nah, uh, I'll rock those. Anything, but for me, <laughs> it, 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 it's at home. Uh, Boston's predominantly a lot of Irish up there, so that's why we have all the shamrocks and green, and right. that's also why you have the Boston Celtics. Right. Okay? A lot of huge Irish community when you go around the Boston area. And that is why the Celtics Woo. also have... Oh, these. Oh. these are from the NBA series in 2006. Oh. This is a, I know everything's backwards in the... In the camera, yeah. But oh, he, those are green toe cap. This this alone makes me just yeah. Nice basket kind of. Yeah, of I see it. Yeah, that yeah that design. Even the yeah. logos on on the on the aglets of the of the shoe. The oh shoe. yeah, those Pretty are on the inside. This is a beautiful shoe. This is suede in the back. Man, those are crazy. Two thousand six. Those are dope, man. Those are these, dope. These have the hometown the hometown flair. Right, right. Man. Yeah, I feel you, Juice, man. <laughs> you got some heat. <laughs> I, I'm like Red King says, I'm just a guy, man. I'm just a guy that has a lot of a lot of shoes and I try to share what I can because I know people share with me. And right. I don't I wouldn't even know half the things I did if I wasn't talking to to other people who have that same passion. Right. Um this right here, these are the 10th anniversary neighbor, uh, neighborhoods. 
I was. Yeah, I love neighborhood, man. Neighborhood do a lot of dope collabs. Yeah, well, neighborhoods came out in two thousand five, and for the tenth anniversary of that, they did a consortium release, and I was able to get one of these. Um, man, the, the the regular series from the, the, the there's only limited numbers three five hundred. I'll never get them. They're never in my size, so I, I, those are dreams. But uh, this is probably one of the nicest in hand pairs of sneakers I have. Like, ooh, the man, look at the. Like, Man, is that like a crocodile skin? Yeah. Or? Oh, this Man. is good stuff. This this sneaker feels nice. It smells nice. It smells like leather. It's a good, good. Still, still that's, this is one of the few pairs I have not worn. What I'm are you waiting for? You waiting on a special occasion to wear those? Uh, I'll know when it pops up. <laughs> I'll know when it pops up. <laughs> what else? What else we got? Here's a here's a key pair. This is a pair that's kind of lackluster to some, but this is the pair right here, the Xenos. As you can see, see Ooh. how it's color? Yeah. And then, like, China. This is oh, a got black, that iridescent. solid black Oh, sneaker. I just seen it. It kind of changed colors. Yeah. This is a solid black sneaker. If, if there was no light reflecting off this, it would be a solid black shoe. Ah, okay. Yeah, that works. Hey, I can already see it right there. Yeah, I can see the color okay. changing. You put a flash on this when you photo it, it is an incredible sneaker. Oh, those are me. This is the sneaker right here that turned me from a guy with a lot of shoes into the collector. Right. Into the enthusiast. I had to have this shoe. But they only made them in size 4 to 14. Okay. I'm a 15, man. This ain't going to fit me. I bought them anyway. And guess what? They fit. Okay. Comfortable <laughs> enough to wear. Okay. Now that I know I can wear a size 14, the whole world opened up. And okay, I remember, yeah, yeah. Boom, right. and bounds. Okay. <laughs> and this is the shoe responsible for making me crest into the collector zone that you right. talking about today. Did it come with the pink laces or you put those pink uh, laces? These are B-Boy laces I put on, and I, I added these for my own personal touch. Okay. My, my little look. Okay. And because he's changed so many colors, Yeah. the pink laces for me were a perfect, perfect thing. Oh, those are mean. You kind of see it. It's it's solid black, and then I can make it turn colors. Right. Man, those are dope. This is an awesome shoe to wear out. When you wear these outside, and people talk, people are like, I love your shoes. Right. This is a great <laughs> pair. Right. It's a great pair. What else we got? What else we got here? This pair right here is a serious... Probably one of the more. I actually bought this pair from Pete. This is the 35th anniversary Upper Playground. This is probably Ooh. out of the superstars, one of the highly desired pairs of superstars out there from the okay. series. Uh, there's only 4,000 pairs. I was able to get these from Pete Deadstock. Whew. I've got the tags because I have worn these. I wear them. But you can see. They went with a barbecue. Oh, so that's like, oh, yeah. Tablecloth, your silver. Yeah. There's your barbecue in the back. Oh, that is dope, man. Those are, man. And it's, it's a nice, like, canvas material. Really, really sweet. Um, there isn't too many guys that have this that will let them, let them go. So it's a hard shoe to get. And um, I know I'm very fortunate to have them. And I got to thank Pete for being the one to... Uh, so hook me up with these. Wow. So that's, wow, definitely, that's like, uh, definitely in the top uh, 10, 5. I don't even know how many shoes I've showed. I, I lost count, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in awe right now. I lost count. <laughs> Here's another highly top two, top three pair for me. I'm a huge Disney fan. So these are Angry Mickeys. Okay. You can see, make it look a little mean there. Right, right. We got the print there with his with his his gloves and his and his boots. Oh man, Heather. that detail! Yeah. Oh, boy. wow! Detail there. And if you take the um, if you put the shoes together, look at the insole. Oh uh, yeah, truck. that is dope, man. I, that's what I just love about the details and dudes. Yeah. Oh, that is dope, man. This is one of my personal personal favorites. Somebody else would look at this and say, oh, there's better sneakers out there, better collabs, better materials. 
that's what makes the shoe part of their top five or their top shoe. Right. This one for me, it's about what it represents and what I've done in it. Um, so this is definitely one of my top, top, top sneakers. Man, those are dope. Those are dope. Anything, anything Disney related. I got some goofies here. I got another set of Nikki. Here's another oddball pair. This isn't one of my favorites, but it's definitely something a little different. This is called the Super Mod, Super Modified. It's a lot different than a regular Superstar. Right. It's, definitely, it's like a Superstar built to be a skate shoe. Okay. So it's got a, lot, a different set of grip, double stitching. It's a lot wider. I mean, you can see from the front, it's a wider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, right, right. And the stripes are all coming up the front through the uh, the eyelets and stuff. It's a really wild look. Oh, that's dope. Okay. Super Mods. This is from uh, 2007. Okay. Cool, cool. And that's stuff. dope. I like how the stripes go into the yeah. eyelids. You don't really see that a lot. Yeah, that's dope. Another oddball pair that people may not recognize. This is the Kodora Superstar. It's made out of a Kodora fabric. And this is what we call a ripple bottom. Oh, wow. I had never seen that one. Wow. It's almost like a boot. And you can see the rip, the edges. These things are wild when you're wearing them. You've got a lot of, I wear these in the wintertime. Anytime I'm on, uh, I'm going outside, I got loose dirt and stuff. You can get them dirty. They clean real nice. Pretty wild pair. Another, nice. another hookup from Pete that I got. Oh, those are dope. Soul. It's not the usual soul people see. Yeah, I've never soul. seen that. I've never seen that. I've never seen that with that type of soul. Let's see what else we got. Let's get some meat and potatoes out here. I was going to ask you about that. <laughs> I was going to ask you about that. <laughs> What we have here, this shoe right here represents Woo, the 25th ask you about anniversary. That. This represents the 25th anniversary release of My Adidas from Run DMC. That song came out in 1986 when they released it. And 25 years later, they made this shoe to honor that. Ooh, those are 1986 man. on the heat on the on the back for the release of the music. The best wow. part about that number. That's how many pairs there are. There's wow. 1,986 pairs of these. That's it. Wow. So this I know the resale on those is crazy, huh? Uh, yeah, they're running. I, right now on eBay, this size is one by about 400 bucks. Ooh, okay. Still, I will, I probably oh, and it comes with all those laces, too? What's that, a red? Yeah, M? laces what? is you got gold chain. Oh, okay. I mean, it's a basic foundation. You got your 1986. I know everything's reversed in the camera. Jam Master J. Jam Master J. You got all the laces. The fat chain. Oh, that's dope. Again, 1,986 pairs. That is another, dope. Another P and I collaboration right here. We got together, and, and he, it was a big help in getting me getting these. Yeah, because I was, I was actually um, doing some research on some Adidas and Run DMC the other night. And I ran across those. I was going to ask you about that. <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a there's a lot of Run DMC models out there. Even even not even superstars. Some of them that they're called ultra stars. Uh, basically, on an ultra star, it's like the same shoe, but the back panel is sewn together a little different on, on an ultra star. Okay. Have you seen the ones that are supposed to come out this year? Have you seen those yet? Leaked photos. There's a lot of chatter. Yeah. I'm in a groups on uh, Facebook and stuff for, for Adidas. Um, I think I've seen it. Somebody in Russia, somebody in Europe got it from somebody in Russia early. I'll, I'll, when it comes out, it comes out. That's the way I look at it. Cause it right, right. It, news, is, it, news is just people like you and I talking these days, and it's kind of tough to get a real story. Right, right. Yeah, I know they they said they were supposed to drop in April, but then with the pandemic, it looks like they pushed it back. Yeah, so definitely... Yeah. Not the year everybody planned for. Yeah, exactly. So what now? So what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you my number one. Okay. Yeah, I want to see this. My number one, my, my, my coup de gras. Okay. <laughs> Handmade. Four. 
I right, remember you posting man. these. Yeah, man. These are a solar construction. Basically, Ooh. on a donor shoe. I bought a pair of sneakers. Okay. And the only thing he used was the toe cap and sole. Wow. The rest of this shoe is completely made by hand. Wow. Crazy craftsmanship. Man. Woo. And it's themed after the 1979 movie, The Warriors. Oh, yeah. I had so I seen someone in the room telling you to, pro to show those. They're yeah. like, show the Warriors, show the Warriors. Don't <laughs> play. It's my ultimate number one movie. And when it came time to work with, with Ben, Benji, uh, Blunt to, to, to make a pair of sneakers, uh, um, I couldn't think of anything better of marrying my favorite movie with my favorite hobby. Right. Being able to wear these. And I've been fortunate enough to have these on foot and meet a lot of the actors from that movie at different conventions and stuff and get their autograph and stuff. And they're like, man, I love those shoes. And they want to take pictures of me before I can even get a picture of them. It's right. Cool <laughs> it's cool when you're talking to the actors of one of your favorite movies, even if it's 40 years old, and they're like, wow, those are wow, those are cool. Yeah, those are crazy, cool. man. Those are dope. Definitely the, the, the highlight the highlight of my collection. How long did it take them to put that, uh, the, uh, make that shoe? Well, I, I contacted him and reached out, presented the idea, and he was he was down for it, which I was extremely happy for. Uh, really great, great experience working with him. Never mind having the shoe. Right. But the whole experience of working with him and, and, and putting ideas together and seeing it kind of come. I gave him a lot of creative freedom, and I'm going to be honest. I had no sh idea what the final shoe was going to look like. Right. Basically said, I'm not looking for crispy white. That's why I went with a cream colored sole. And I said, basically make me a sneaker version of the vest from the movie. Uh. With a few, a few things I had hoped to see. And he blew all my expectations. Uh, far exceeded them. Totally, yeah, wow. Totally great. Totally great. I know someone had a question time, asking. Once I once I hooked up with him, it took some time for it to be my turn, because he's always working on projects. And right, then once right. it was my turn, it was took about a little over a month or two. He had to work with things. Um, the shoe is shaped over. A, it's called the last. The, what you mold the shoe over? Because of my big feet, he didn't have one my size. He had to have one made that added to the time. So. Um, oh wow! Okay. You know, he's, he's, you work with a lot of customizers. Uh, yeah. You, you right, see right. All the stuff you do. And Benji's just, it was just great to have, to be able to have a pair of his shoes made. It is a right. huge, huge honor to have those. Top shelf right. stuff, for sure. Top shelf. Yeah, someone, someone just asked a question about how much does he usually, how much does he charge to um, customize shoes? How much shoes? does he charge? Well, if you want to know what Ben, Ben charges for custom shoes, you should probably ask him. Um, I, <laughs> good, good answer. <laughs> I prefer not to discuss the financials of those. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though. It cost, obviously, you have a handmade custom piece of, of, of totally 100% custom shoe. Right. It's going to cost a few bucks. Yeah, that's going to cost a few pennies right there. You're the labor, you're paying for this, the talent and skill. Exactly. What added, I'll tell you what added to the cost of that for me personally was overseas. That's that shipping. That added a lot, a lot extra to the whole thing, me having to get shoes back and forth and stuff like that. So in the, at the end of the day, I know exactly what I spent on them. And it's more than my other shoes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? What's it called? Just said, uh, Kid and Hansel just said, hey, if you got to ask, you can't afford them. <laughs> That's what they say. I'll tell you what. I saved up for uh, quite a long time to make right. sure I had the money to cover those. So I didn't feel guilty about it. <laughs> like anything else, right? It's when you teach your kids, all the young ones. If you right. Want, if you really want something, you're going to have to save up to go get it. Right. Save those pennies. Well, I was exactly. like fives, tens, and twenties. <laughs> so did you, um, you know, when you were saving up, that meant, hey, no, no cop and new sneakers? Is that what you had to do? No more cops? Yeah. My sneaker budget only depends on how things are, obviously. Uh, right, right now, right. current events have got me on the, on, the, on the downside as far as purchasing go. I'm trying right. to be responsible. Um, right. 
And you know, everybody <laughs> those checks in, it was like, hey, there's a lot to buy right now. <laughs> don't get me wrong. If I'm on eBay and I see the right pair for the right price, I don't want to lose out. I'll probably cop them. I've been looking at shoes right now. I've been getting $30, $36 pairs, real, real inexpensive things. Right, right, right. The, the feels going. My birthday's in two weeks. I just made a purchase this week for something that I will consider a grail shoe. It's getting delivered tomorrow. Heaven's on fire. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, okay.